Welcome back to CSS for Beginners. This is video 6 and in this video we're going to be talking about div tags. And div tags basically are what we use to lay out the content on our HTML pages. But we can style these div tags so we can change the colour of them, we can set certain text properties in them, we can do a lot with the div tag. So again, just to confirm what we're doing, if we have a look at this page that we've got here, this green box that's on my body of my HTML page is a div tag. It's like a little container that's got things inside it. You can see that it'll already have certain properties applied to it. For example, it's green. It's a certain width. It's a certain height. It's aligned to the center so that it's always in the middle horizontally to the browser. Uh, and that's what we're going to talk about today, div tags. So in our previous video, we created um, some more style sheets and the reason we did that is I explained that all the text styles that I'm going to use are going to be in this document, all the styles for the body are going to be in this document and all the styles for my layout such as the, the containers that we're going to create today are going to be in this document and then we linked all of these using import URL but I never actually showed it you working so I'm going to show you this working today so in my index.html you can see that what I've done is I've linked to um, main.css here by using this line of code. Main.css imports all the styles from layout.css and text.css. So in text.css, I've got a style called title. Now, nowhere on here have I linked to text.css, but because I've done the import URL, I should be able to use that dot title selector. Um, as a style inside this document. So let's just try and see if it works. So, hello world. And what I could do here is I could do a span class, which we've learned about previously, equals, and you can see here, look, that the style still pops up. So you can see quite clearly that the um, main.css here that's importing the text.css file is working nicely when embedded in my HTML document. Let's just see this working. And there we go. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to create some div tags, which I've mentioned already, like containers. Um, I'm going to create those um, styles for those in my layout.css. All right, so what? where do we start? Well, if I just give you an idea of where we are going to start, all I'm going to do to start with is try and create um, this green box. Okay, I'm going to try and create this green box in the center of the screen. I'm not going to worry about this background yet, which is gray. I just want to create this green box in the center of my screen that's got a certain width, a certain height, and like I said, when I move it, it stays in the middle of my browser horizontally. So, in my layout.css, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a, um, a class. Um, I'm going to explain something today, actually. I'm going to start with a class and I'm going to explain something different. So I'm going to start with a class and I'm going to call that class container. Okay, and then I'm going to open my parentheses, to go down here and close my parentheses. I've now got a declaration and in that declaration I'm going to give the uh, container selector some properties. So the first property that I'm going to give it is a uh, background color. Now notice it does have to be background color, not color. color the color property will set the color of uh, the text that's inside this container. Okay, so background color. Again, I'm just going to use my color selector and choose a color. I'm going to finish off that value with a semicolon. I'm then going to use a property called width. And I'm going to give it the width of 900 pixels. And then I'm going to give it a property of height. And I'm going to give it um, 500 pixels. And for now, that's all I'm going to do, okay? I know that at the minute, what's going to happen is this isn't going to do exactly what I've just showed you, and I'm going to explain why. So I'm going to save that style, layout.css, there we go. And then in my index.html file here, what I'm going to do is, is write a bit of HTML. Um, I'm going to open up something called a div. Now again, all you need to worry about is that a div is a container. So this here, I've used the word container or box. It's actually called a div. Using HTML terminology, it's called a div. So I'm getting a div 
or I'm declaring a div here. I'm going to give it the class of, there you go, look, container. I'm going to close that class. I'm going to, well, finish this off with a more than symbol. Then, underneath here, I need to close the div. Now, don't get confused by this. It's basic HTML. Uh, we talked about the body in previous videos. The body is open, so whatever appears between this open body tag and this closed body tag will appear on this screen here. And all I've done is I've done the same with a div. Whatever appears between this div and this closed div, so whatever appears here in between them will appear inside this green box. Okay, so let me just show you if I write hello, that those words hello appear inside this green box because the green box is this div. If I write world outside of these divs, so if I write outside these divs, I write the word world here, what do you think will happen? That's right, it'll actually write the world um, text outside of the green box because I need to write inside these divs if I want the text to appear inside this green box. So I'll move this up here. Now then, that's looking good, um, but it's not exactly what I want. It's not exactly what I want at all, in fact. I'm just going to show you by saving this and previewing it in a browser. File, preview in browser. Um, I'll preview it in Safari, actually, which is a web browser I've got. You can see here that that doesn't look like this. All right. Yeah, I know the browser window is not the same. Um, the background color is not the same, but I'm talking specifically about this green box. I haven't even used the exact same color, to be honest with you. But it's a green box and it doesn't look like this one because, well, because it's not in the center of my screen horizontally. That's the first thing I've noticed. So how can I do that? You can see that it's aligned left of the screen. Well, there's a property that we can use um, in here. There's a property that we can use called margin. Now, the margin property, um, well, let me, let me show you what it does actually. If I say, well, I want a margin and I want that margin to be 50 pixels and I save it, if I go back into here and see what that's done, what that's done is it's actually created a 50 pixel margin on every edge um, of the box at this div tag. So there's a 50 pixel margin here, there's a 50 pixel margin here, if I scroll across, there's a 50 pixel margin here, and there's actually a 50 pixel margin there as well. Um, and so let's see if that works. It won't, but let's just see what happens. That's what happens. Again, I've got a margin now, but it's not in the center of my screen and it's not moving. So what we need to do is actually, one of the values that you can set for the property of margin is you can set it to have an auto margin. And what that does is it says, okay, well, what I will do is I will have a look um, at the size of the browser and I will adjust my margin accordingly uh, to the left and the right so that I will always be in the middle horizontally. Now notice it doesn't do it vertically. Okay, I can't align this box vertically just because of the way that I've set this up. But I can align it horizontally. So if I now go to File, Preview in Browser, you can see that now, as I adjust this, it's automatically allow, uh, aligned horizontally to the middle. Quite good. Um, another thing I noticed straight away, again, if I just focus on this green div, is that if you see where my text starts here, it, it starts right on the edge um, of this div, at the top and to the left. If I go here, you'll notice that the text has got a little gap between the left and the top. And this little gap is called padding. So let me explain what padding is. Okay, so if we imagine that this is my green box that I've just created, and remember the correct terminology we should be using is this is my div. This is my div. Now, if I want to write some text inside my div, it will automatically write it right as far as it can go to the top and as far as it can go to the left. Now, that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do at all. 
what I actually want to do is I want it to write the text with a little indent here. And so what I've actually got is some space between the edge of the div on the left and the edge of the div on the top. Now what we do is we actually, there's a name for this space here, and this is called padding. Okay, so padding is giving yourself a gap inside the div. Okay, uh, there's a difference between padding and a margin. So if you think about the margin that we had earlier, what a margin does is it gives you a gap outside of the div. So a margin gives you a gap outside of the div. Padding gives you a gap inside the div. So let's see that in practice. If I say, let me just close this, if I go into my uh, layout and I say, okay, what I want is I want this container to have some padding to the left of, I don't know, let's say 10 pixels. And I want padding to the top of 10 pixels. Save that. Go in here. And now you can see I've got a gap. And this is called padding. Padding to the left of 10 pixels and a padding to the top of 10 pixels. If I just go to the extreme on that and say, well, I want padding of 100 to the top and the left, save it, go in here, and you can see now I've got a lot of padding between uh, the edge of this box on the left and the edge of this box at the top. I can actually see this if I click in, in Dreamweaver, if I click on this, uh, this div here, you can see, look, you can see the padding that I've applied, which is really nice. Again, I don't want that much padding, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that, and I'm just going to keep um, 10 pixels worth of padding. You can see here look, that I've got a margin here as well, and that's an auto margin, as you can see. Yep, so the margin is outside of the div, and the padding is inside of the div. Now, at the minute, I'm working towards, if I preview this in the browser, I'm working towards getting this green box um, looking more like this green box. Now what you'll notice here is actually I've hit a problem because that padding isn't actually working when I preview it in the browser. Ah, that's because I just need to hit refresh. So I just had to hit refresh and now my padding has appeared. Um, so I'm going to stop this video here because I think it's getting towards the end, it's a, it's a long video. What have we done? What we've done is we've talked about how we can use um, our layout CSS to create styles for um, div tags. And div tags are like containers that we can have on our HTML pages. And so with a div tag, with a class of container, I have styled this div tag with um, these properties that I've written in my layout.css. Background color, width, height, Margin auto makes it so that the, the, the div is in the middle. Padding left, padding top. What I might do to just finish is I'm just going to add some comments in here so that I remember what each of these do. And it might be worthwhile that you do the same. So margin auto, um, this makes sure, or oh, this sets, this sets the uh, div tag. I'm doing the typing is terrible. This sets the div tag so it is horizontally aligned to the center. Uh, padding left, so I could talk about padding left. What this does is it gives me a space uh, between the left edge and the text inside the div. And again, just copy that paste it down here. What this does is it gives me a space between the top edge um, and the text inside the div. In our next video we'll, we'll talk more about how we get this looking more like this.